Hi everyone, Rob here from Power Learning Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you a few tricks to solve some of the problems that with formatting that some of my students frequently ask me when they are going to submit a research paper. And in this case, I'm going to focus on adding page numbers and different styles of page numbers to get them properly formatted for APA. And now the easiest thing to do uh, for a shorter paper, if you're not working on a dissertation or a chapterized uh, research uh, project, is just to simply start with page number one for your cover page and use continuous numbering throughout, and you put that in the page header. So before I do that, I'm going to vertically center my title page. And uh, you don't want to use your Enter key to do that for accessibility reasons. What you want to do is go to the Layout tab in Microsoft Word, go to your page setup and click on the little uh, drop down here for more options on the layout tab just vertically align this page on the center and hit OK now you'll notice that it has done this for the entire document so what I'm going to do at this point here uh, bring this back up and I am going to insert a new page break at this point. So I'll go to insert, uh, sorry, layout and breaks and under section breaks next page. Now for here I'll go back to my page setup and I'll click top again for the vertical alignment and from this point forward everything will be vertically aligned top but my cover page will be vertically aligned in the center. Now, the simplest way to add page numbers, as I said, for a shorter paper is simply to start with page number one for your cover page. Use continuous numbers throughout. You would put that in the top right corner of your page header. So I'll click into my page header. I'm going to go to the page number options here in the header and footers ribbon. And I will pick current location, put in a plain number. And now I will go back to my home tab and I will right align that for the paper. So now I have page number one, two, three, continuing throughout the paper. In some cases uh, with APA papers, you see that there's no page number listed on the cover page, but you do for subsequent pages. That is easy enough to do as well. What I'm going to do is uh, delete this page number from here and you'll see now that it is gone from all of my pages so I'm gonna to go to the page header on my second page you'll remember I added in a section break so this is sectionized now I'm gonna insert a page number here and current location I will left a lot uh, right align it again it is right aligned under my header and footer ribbon, I am going to make sure that I check uh, remove the link to previous. So now I can delete the page number from my cover page and it won't delete it from the rest of the document. In some cases with longer documents, you'll see that uh, your abstract art actually starts on page I and your table of contents might be on page II and then you start with page one for the main body of the paper. To do that, what you want to do after your abstract and keywords or after your table of contents, let's put in a table of contents here so that we can demonstrate this. I'm going to go to my references tab here and I'll insert a table of contents. So now I have my contents here. I'm just going to change this back to be a level one header. Make sure that the font color is black and that it is centered because it is a level one header. So I'm going to make my abstract page I, my, my table of contents page II, and start on page one for my main body. So again, I am just going to backspace here and instead of using control enter to force a new page break in this case I'm going to go back to my layout tab put in another section break so next page 
So now I have three sections in this, my cover page, my abstract and contents page, and my main body of my paper. Now what I'm going to do is in my heading, my header for the main body, I'm going to remove the link to previous again. I'm going to right click on my page number and I am going to um, format my page numbers. So in this case, I'm going to start at, click at start at, change it back to one. So you'll notice that I've got page one, two, three here already, and then it starts again at page one. Now I'm going to go back into my page numbers for my abstract and table of contents section, my preface section, front matter section for the paper. I will right click on this, format my page numbers again, and I'll change the numbering format to the letters I, 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 and I will start my page number at one for this one, or at I. So now I have page I, page I, I, and then I start at page one for the main body of the paper.